show you some of Gamma Aviation's new concept in the opening credits. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Biggin Hill and what they're doing later in the video. So all hail Liz Waterfront. TV. It's the end of the 10 years and the start of a new decade for, for Miba. And this show has been pretty interesting. Um, I'm not convinced it's growing as you would have hoped, but that's partly to do with the way the market's been going. And that's been the underlying theme coming through. Things are tough at the moment. Even Sheikh Ahmed, who we were talking to on the opening of the show, we're saying that it's difficult, we've got to hang on. We know there are a lot of challenges going on within the airline industry in the Gulf. There are jobs going. These are the places we never expected to see that happening, but it is. Business aviation, flat. However, Sheikh Ahmed was telling me that he believes that it's going to grow by 80% before 2023. We've got 850 odd business aircraft in the Middle East, North Africa area. That's going to almost double. We're in fact expecting 1,200 to be here by 2021. So there's an underlying positivity about what's happening. We're seeing some innovation as well. Some of the things that we've been seeing in the States and Europe are getting out here. Earlier this week, of course, Jet Smarter started with its first shuttle running to London from Dubai. You're watching Gear Up TV. You're watching Gear Up TV. Yeah, it's very important when you work the new technology aircraft that you are working close to the, the plane makers because uh, for sure the plane makers know the limit, know the where the challenge are, and then if sometimes you need to validate some design or some concept, we need to work closely with them. Otherwise, you may do some mistakes, and then the mistakes will have to be recovered sooner or later. So. We are spending a lot of time uh, and effort to stay uh, approved like we are Comlux by uh, uh, Boeing and by Airbus. I'd just like to remind you that uh, we are a warranty service center for Boeing in, uh, in Indianapolis and as well we are the uh, uh, Airbus Corporate Jet Center service center for uh, Airbus in the US as well and the rest of the world. So, I believe that is extremely important when you are designing this aircraft and you certify this aircraft that you keep yourself up to date about the latest technology which are on board this plane and therefore you can uh, deliver to the customer the best product and service that you expect. About three years ago, uh, we uh, took a very hard look at the industry and we recognized that the industry uh, does not innovate, does not invest, does not uh, spend any money on research and development to bring in new technologies unless they have a contract with the customer. We actually reversed that trend. We have invested close to $20 million in the last 24 months in developing new technologies. Those technologies are for connectivity, for example. Uh, another is light materials to reduce the weight of the cabin, hence improving the range of the airplane. Uh, in noise uh, technology to reduce the noise inside the cabin. So as, as, as we continue to evolve our, our innovations, our aim and our target is to ensure that when our customer comes in and they would like to upgrade their interiors and their airplanes or improve its connectivity and improve its performance or they have a new airplane they are purchasing, our solution is a solution that will enhance their uh, platform, enhance their airplane, enhance their experience and at the same time produce the most elegant, uh, luxurious interior uh, uh, that they expect. Vision is our flagship in-flight entertainment product. 
And as part of our uh, in-flight entertainment offering, we do provide a rich and diverse set of content set. It offers for different age group, different demographics, and for people speaking different languages. You're watching Gear Up TV. Brandon, why are you at FIBA? Well, the Middle East Business Aviation event is something we come to every two years, and it, it's a very important event for us. Uh, a significant portion of our key customers come from this region, and as you've seen from our latest statistics, about a 7% increase year over year in large cabin aircraft coming from this region to our airport in London, and I suspect that's, uh, I suspect that's been reflected across the London area. So we come here to meet current customers who are very important to us, and also meet new contacts as well. And for the uh, we're now in the last part of the three days. We've had a wonderful time. You're watching Gear Up TV. So Alan referenced earlier, despite a difficult market, there are some positive stories coming out of the region. Not least of all, this one, the announcement that Cedar Executive has taken a second Legacy 500 to join its charter fleet. Now this is very special, it's significant because it says, it signals that the Lebanese market is actually on the upturn. So this is fantastic technology, it's Embraer's latest and greatest aircraft and we're going to have a look inside and speak to Mr. Marco Tullio Pellegrini about what this means for Embraer and what this means for the industry. You've said before you think that this aircraft and its sister, the 450, are going to outstrip the Phenom 300 in terms of your best-selling product. Could you elaborate a little bit more on that? <laughs> we do believe that the, the, the family for 50 and 500 will be the best-seller in, in those segments they, they, they compete. I think they, they bring lots of innovation, stand-up cabin, good performance. Uh, lots of technology enhanced vision system with a head-up display that nobody is offering that class, that size, that technology. And also the, the airplane was designed with the fly-by-wire concept that it helps and reduce pilot's workload, improve comfort, safety. I think it's, uh, it's a unique airplane, uh, uh, a huge value proposition to the customers and I, I think in in years from now, or in short time, I'd say, uh, they will be the best sellers in the industry. You're watching Gear Up TV. What surprises me? I, I think I'd say we're trying to surprise you, all of you. We have new branding that we're rolling out the first of next year. It's going to be in conjunction with our 50th anniversary. It'll be celebrated in 2017 throughout the Jet Aviation Network. It's the end of the show. I'm heartbroken, folks. It's been such a marvellous time at MEBA for me. I've had such a lovely time seeing beautiful aircraft like this, the Legacy 500. There's only one thing I can do, the special nod to our friends at Flight International. I'm going to seal it with a kiss. Thank you for watching Gear Up TV. Remember to like and subscribe to see more.